Hi everyone, my name is Jeannie and I love reading. That's how I introduced myself on the first day of kindergarten, so I figured I'd introduce myself to you that way today. Why not? Why mess with success? Uh, so I uh, have always been interested in reading, as is evidenced by my intro to my fellow kindergartners. I have also always been interested in tests as evidenced by the fact that I invented and created tests for my next door neighbor named Susanna and made her take them. <laughs> if you see this, Susanna, I'm very sorry. <laughs> it was a learning experience for me and hopefully it was for you too. Um, but this is how we get to today. Uh, I have always loved reading. I have always loved tests, embarrassingly enough. So my research is on tests of reading. How do we assess reading comprehension in multicultural societies? So reading is fundamental. Have we all heard this before? Yes, more or less. Um, so how do we assess it? And this is obviously a stock photo, um, but when we have classrooms, when we have cities, when we have states, when we have multiple nations that are taking the same type of test that involves reading assessment, how do we make sure that everyone can read reading materials and respond to them in a somewhat similar fashion? Every time you have a text, and you personally, as you've read texts, your own background, your own life experiences, the way you think, uh, the people you know, everything in your own life influences the way that you read a text, whether that text is a newspaper, a novel, um, even a trained timetable. All of these things are impacted by your own personal experience and by your lived knowledge. Quick question, how many of you have taken the GCSE? Some hands. How about the CSE or the O-level? Okay, I didn't know if people wanted to admit this because that might be an age-related question, but great. So we have a lot of people who have experience, who have had some experience with uh, these types of tests. Um, can you tell that I'm a teacher? Can anyone tell me what the GCSE is? Just quickly. Excellent. Yes, the General Certificate of Secondary Education. It's an academic qualification that secondary school students have to take. Uh, and this, the performance on, uh, on the GCSE can impact your future educational decisions and life pathways. It's a fairly important test. Maybe some of you will agree. Uh, I'm going to give a quick example from the GCSE. I analyze multiple systems. The GCSE is one of them. This is from a short passage entitled Two Wheels in the Dust. I'll just read the first sentence to you that's highlighted. The starving millions of India overwhelmed me as I cycled through the outskirts of Bombay. You can read this if you would like for the sake of time. Skipping ahead, the author states, to keep your sanity in India, you have to switch off from the poverty and squalor because there's nothing you can do about it. So this is written by a woman named Anne Musto. She is British, uh, she is a white British woman, and she is on a cycling tour through India. And students were asked to respond to this question. And as I was saying previously, your own background, your own lived experience influences the way that you might respond to a reading passage. The question that was asked of students taking the GCSE began with another prompt that said, so not through callousness, but as a kind of self-protection, I averted my eyes from the beggars and street dwellers, ends with, to complete my enjoyment during the cycling tour of India, I went to Leopold's, the tourist hangout for a plate of fish and chips, a gastronomic delight after six weeks of curry. So with this passage, I'm not going to test you right now and make you respond unless any of you feel fervently that you would wish to do so, in which case you can do so afterwards. Um, but the question that was asked from this passage was explain some of the thoughts and feelings the writer has when she is in Bombay. Think quickly how different students might respond to this question. Think especially how even if you had two different students, one born in Oxford, one born in India, how would they respond to this passage? How might this impact upon their performance on this test? 
This second example is from another test that I analyzed. It's from my home state of Massachusetts. I'm sure you were not able to tell at all that I'm from the United States. I'm from Boston. Um, this is a passage about a man who is struggling to try to maintain control over land in which his ancestors are buried. Uh, we'll just read part of the passage for you. Uh, the first 15 and a half years of my life were spent on this place. My ancestors for over 100 years planted the sugar cane here, hold the sugar cane, plowed it, cut it, and when it was time, hauled it to the mills. They, like too many others who worked this land, are buried here in unmarked graves because they could not afford the headstones. Again, you can read through some of the other par the rest of the passage, but it's a fairly intense passage to work with and some sensitive issues here. There are issues of one's heritage, the control of property and of privacy. And there, while there is no explicit mention of slavery, the echoes of it are present here. The questions that are then asked focus on the use of irony in the passage and how the author might feel about his ancestors. My last example that I'm going to move on to is from my third test that I analyzed. That is something called PISA. Has anyone heard of PISA? Have you seen it in the news? Uh, so the UK and England have not done exceedingly well in PISA, so you might have seen glaring headlines that say things like, England falls dramatically, loses to China, world is ending, PISA. Maybe not, but these are the types of headlines that come out of PISA. Um, PISA tests literacy and reading comprehension in students who are 15 to 16 years of age around the world. Uh, and the content in this example is uh, a sort of publication that's released by a personnel department. And it's in just informing about an initiative that has been started by the personnel department. And so this, a bit different from the previous two examples, but in another way, you can see how different students might respond to this differently if one has been employed if one has never been employed, they might not know what a personal department is, what personnel departments might do, these types of things. So going back to looking at the different topics that are covered in all of the reading materials and all the reading passages that students have to read for these tests, we have for the GCSE things like school conditions, the environment, um, one's own identity as a student, travel, technology. Uh, for the MCAS in Massachusetts, uh, we have some sensitive topics. Death comes up, um, disability, the promises of freedom, that mythology is used, war is discussed. Um, and with PISA, there are things like geography, employment, business, and again, technology comes up, although it is important to note that technology takes different forms in all of these tests. So why is it important to look at the way in which reading assessment is conducted in these different tests. So with all of these different tests, research has proven without a doubt that students from different backgrounds perform differently in a way that impacts their performance on assessments, all of these assessments. So looking at the way students perform, I am trying to find out how the different topics and content that occur in all of these reading assessments might relate to the ways in which students perform. And I'm sure that all of you have heard this in various ways, but correlation does not imply causation, so I'm not going down that road. But we're looking at how the different topics relate to student performance. And part of my research that I have not discussed today is about how the linguistic difficulty, the complexity of the language in texts also impacts upon the way that students perform and then impacts upon their future educational pathways. So I tried to be as rapid as possible, but if we're running low on time, to sum up, reading is test. What was on my first slide? Reading is, begins with an F. Fundamental. Yes. Reading is fundamental. And the assessment of reading is fundamental. And this is why we need to probe into how we do it, why we do it, and how best to make it fair. Thank you.